talking about now in terms of being in the presence and experiencing true infinite freedom in your life. And I don't mean, yes, I love freedom of time, money, and mindset, but I mean coming back to your soul and being, having the experience of heaven right here on earth, which I believe is fully possible for every single one of us when we stop identifying with our minds and our bodies and we get into the now, the infinite present now, which is the only place that any of life actually happens. And the conversation that we were having over there is how this work, it's so funny, as soon as I talk about that now space, I feel it open up. I've said this many times in the last couple of weeks um, in, in various places, I'm not sure if I said it here or not yet, but when you start to be in the present moment, right here, right now, it's as if this, this capsule of time opens up and there's this entire lifetime of space and experience in this present. And it's the most peaceful space. And it's part of what we're going to be touching on a little bit today, because I want you to get a taste of this. And it absolutely applies back to your business and to money as well. As you'll see with the title, Superflow equals non-resistance. I'm going to explain what I actually mean by that, because like I was having the conversation over in Spiritually Fabulous around this, we we're talking about how my past courses fit into this, this kind of current direction of being in the now. And the big realization that I've had is Superflow, which like I said, is almost five years old, which is crazy. I understand now that Superflow is non-resistance. What does that mean? because I know so many of you love to get into super flow. You've experienced that before. How do you actually use that regularly in your business? Super flow is non-resistance. Non-resistance is being completely present in the now, not worrying about the past, not trying to figure out the, fe the future, being here now. And not only being here now, accepting your life exactly as it is. Okay. This doesn't mean that if something's not the way that you like it to be, that you can't do something about it or change things, but it's not resisting what is. I did a, an intensive yesterday, a, a three hour intensive, and we were digging into this quote from, um, if you're familiar with the power of now from Eckhart Tolle, I'd never read it. And I just recently started digging into it. And I was like, I have not found a line in that book. That's not spot on. But the quote that we were digging into, part of what we were digging into yesterday, was conflict within you ceases when there is no longer any clash between the demands and expectations of your mind and what actually is. That's non-resistance. When you no longer are like, well, but I put out the launch and I wanted to have 10 people and only four signed up, so something is wrong. Think of the feelings that generates in you. You're annoyed, you're frustrated, you're maybe angry. You're starting to have that story of like, this is how it should have been, but it's not. That is an experience of total resistance. And when you are in resistance, you are not in flow with life. You are out of a state of peace. You cannot create in the way that you are meant to create, let alone receive in the way that you're meant to receive. Conflict within you ceases when there is no longer any clash between the demands and expectations of the mind versus what actually is. You can still be active and enjoy manifesting and creating new forms and circumstances, but you won't be identified with them. Meaning you're not making them your source. You're not making them your identity. You do not need them to give you a sense of self. That's vital. What are you putting on a pedestal right now and needing to give you a sense of self? Do you need the business to make you feel good enough? Do you need the money to make you feel like you're, you have a sense of self? Where are you using outside circumstances to define the infinite being that you actually are? It's always going to fall short and it's always going to fall flat. They are not your life, only your life situation. All right. What does all that mean? And for those of you who are new, just to give you an idea of how these calls usually go, we usually dig into something like this in the beginning. And it's a, on all kinds of topics. We absolutely focus on more 
cut and dry business topics, tools, resources, strategies, etc. We absolutely dig into the mindset side, the energy side, everything in between. Nothing is off limits here. My focus more than anything is to help you unlock true freedom right now in every area of your life. And being here in the academy space, we are especially focused on business, soul work, and having access to true prosperity and abundance, okay? So what does this mean? These quotes, just about through my phone, these quotes that I just read to you, conflict within you ceases when there's no longer any clash between the demands and expectations of your mind and what is. You can still be active and enjoy manifesting and creating new forms, but you won't be identified with them. You do not need them to give you a sense of self. This is so the secret of all of it, okay? From experience, of having had nothing in terms of no business, no success, no money, no clients, none of the things back in like 2013, starting this business in 2014, creating it as a, as a six figure, multi six figure business relatively quickly. And then being on the flip side back in like 2016 of having consistent 40 K months and starting to be, you know, known a little bit for my work in this industry. I had experiences on both sides of that where I still felt afraid. I still felt not good enough. I still felt like no matter how much money I made, it still wasn't enough. And it was such a perfect gift because what it taught me is that I was looking for outside circumstances to make me feel complete. What I've learned at this point is that when you come into the presence of the now, because there is nothing except to this moment. Plotting and planning for the future on and on and on keeps you living in a space where you have no power. You can't do anything in the future. You can only take action in the now. Learning to be aware of whether you are residing in the now or in your mind in the future or the past is one of the fastest ways to get back into your power and get out of your drama. What does this have to do with soul led business? You are going to struggle in creating a business, creating offers, putting things out there, selling, charging for them, being consistent with your marketing and allowing yourself to be paid. If you are living in the future, living in the past and caught up in drama. Okay. So, we can talk about this from the perspective of like, it can literally give you enlightenment. I believe that enlightenment is actually available to all of us right now. But if you are here and you're like, yeah, but Jess, I just want to like get my business off the ground or scale it or grow it or make more money. I'm explaining why this focus is still important and should still be your priority. Because if your only place of power is right here, right now, Right here, right now, you can tune into the infinite being that you are. You can feel that power and allow that sense of peace to saturate you and saturate every aspect of your life. From this space, you are in complete non-resistance to what is, meaning you accept everything as is in this moment. Whatever money is in the bank, fabulous, you accept it. Whatever is going on with your business, non-resistance. I accept it. Whatever's going on with you, whether you have clarity or not, or your website's done or whatever, whatever it is, when you are in the now, accept it fully. Then what? Use this moment for what this moment was given for. What does that mean? I notice that when I come into the now and I'm not resisting what is, I am in alignment and flow with the entire universe. From this space, if I simply ask something like, what is this moment for? I've yet to have a moment where I haven't heard something. And if I actually, when I do hear nothing, for me, it means pause. And if you follow me around, you'll see me act this out. When I, I'll, at, I'll be in the moment, I'll be tuning in on what is this moment for, I'll do the thing, I'll tune in on what this moment's for, you'll actually see me pause and have these moments, and if I don't know yet, I wait. 
I don't need to force something. I pause. I remember yesterday at the, the kitchen counter, I'm just like, I noticed that's exactly what I was doing as I was just standing there waiting for the next thing. Sometimes, like last night, I was feeling like, oh, I should, you know, maybe I should meditate, maybe I should whatever. And I was like, ooh, I'm in the mind. The mind is telling me what I need to do in order to get something to be complete, to feel more successful or whatever it is. Come back into the now. Accept this moment exactly as it is. What is this moment for? What I heard was rest. It's time to go to bed. Go to bed earlier than usual. This is the secret to superflow. When you do this, you are given the step-by-step -step tools to build your soul-led business, to unlock your unique blueprint for success. The thing is, is it might trigger the shit out of your mind because your mind would really love it if you would give it the whole plan so it can decide if it thinks it's a good plan or not. But it's not how this works. You take the next step with knowing, trust, and faith that it's all adding up. It's all working out. You would not have received that step if that was not the next step to take. This is how I built all of this. Everything that's good and joyful and real and abundant in my business and my life has come from this approach. It's cute. Sometimes I will like slip into the, ooh, it's time to be a professional entrepreneur. I should get a business plan together or a launch, launch schedule. I told my team last week, I was like, okay, we're going to do this. And then I'm going to do this live stream next week. La la la. Feeling like I was really being on top of things. And then I wasn't in the, I wasn't in the now in that moment. It didn't feel aligned to me when it came to this week. I was feeling resistance it's because I had this whole schedule of things I had planned out. When all I ever truly need to do is be in the moment and take the next aligned action. The fabulous thing is, well, our minds will tell us there's no way this works. The fabulous thing is, is the way that my business is set up, Superflow even being created as a course, let alone being out there right now as a low price intro offer with ads, let alone having an email sequence after it, an academy and even existing <laughs> like spiritually fabulous all of this stuff everything i've created my marketing my style all of it none of it came because i followed a marketing plan none of it came because i followed a launch schedule all of it came because i was being present in the moment resisting nothing accepting what was and taking the next step. So it's very different than the typical approach to manifesting where you're like, oh, get clear on what I want to just like create. And then I'm going to sit here and focus on it. I'm going to journal on it over and over. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. But as I told my spiritually fabulous clients this morning, my focus is to continue making all of this even simpler. I ideally don't want you to have to go meditate for an hour to feel free. I don't want you to have to, you know, journal and journal and journal in order to feel what you truly desire. They all work. Those, both of those things absolutely work. But is there a faster way to tune in? Is there a simpler way to tune in? Because the truth of the matter is, is your beingness is who you are. You don't need to become something different than what you are. You need to stop identifying with the stories your mind is telling you. 